We like to think that we're the pinnacle of natural selection, right? The ultimate upgrade from our caveman ancestors. Well, plot twist. In many ways, we've actually downgraded. We're weaker, lazier, and losing our ability to think. Modern humans have basically become the discount version of our ancestors. Our ancestors could literally body slam us into next week. Let's start with the obvious. We are pathetically weak compared to our ancestors. And nah, I ain't talking about your great-great-grandmother who would churn butter for hours. A Cambridge study found that even our most highly trained athletes would get demolished by farmers from 5300 BC. These ancient farmers had leg bone structures equivalent to modern runners, except they maintained that level of fitness their entire lives, not just during a season. The way Dr. Colin Schaff put it was that even our most highly trained athletes pale in comparison to these ancestors of ours. And honestly, this doesn't even apply to just ancient history. We've been getting progressively weaker for the past 30 years alone. Canadian university students studying human movement showed significantly lower aerobic fitness and greater waist circumference compared to students from just 30 years earlier. Male students went from an average VO2 max of 63 to 55 while females dropped from 50 to 45. That's like your cardio fitness aging backwards while you're supposedly in your prime. And to add to the external validity of this, you could take a look at the obesity rate and how it's been constantly increasing for the last 30 years. Nearly three in four adults in the US are now considered overweight or have obesity according to a 2024 study in The Lancet. That's a sharp increase since the 1990s when just over half of adults were living with obesity. And wait, there's more. We're not just weaker, we're also spending 10 hours a day being stationary. Our ancestors walked six to 16 kilometers daily and burned 800 to 1200 calories just through regular physical activity. Meanwhile, nearly one third of adults worldwide don't even meet basic physical activity recommendations. We've literally engineered movement out of our lives and then wonder why we're falling apart. And now shifting to smartphones and doom scrolling on TikTok for hours, let's talk about how we've managed to rewire our brains to crave digital validation like lab rats pressing a lever for instant gratification. And yeah, I mean, that comparison is more accurate than you may think. Just about 57% of Americans openly admit that they're addicted to their phones. The average person checks their phone 144 times a day. And get this, 71% of people spend more time with their phone than with their romantic partner. Like, bro, you really going from her to her, you feel me? Pretty dystopian, for real, for real. Among university students, smartphone addiction rates are hitting about 40 to 70%, depending on the study. But... What's really concerning is that smartphone use is literally changing our brain structure. Heavy social media users have shrinking brain regions associated with concentration and are becoming less able to ignore distractions. We're basically training our brains to have the attention span of a goldfish with ADHD. And it's not just our attention spans, our memory is getting worse because we've externalized it to our devices. Once you stop using your memory, it will get worse, which makes you use your devices even more. We've created a dependency loop where technology makes us dumber, which makes us more dependent on the technology. Microsoft found that human attention span dropped from 12 seconds to 8 seconds in just over a decade. For context, that's shorter than a goldfish, which clocks in at about 9 seconds. We've literally just been outfocused by a fish. Let that sink in while you inevitably check your phone in the next 30 seconds. Or, well, I guess while you're watching this too. And then, in these last few years, AI is making us professionally useless. AI is turning us into professional couch potatoes. And I'm the biggest proponent for AI, and I'm still going to acknowledge the fact that it's doing this. A recent study found that about 68.9% of observed laziness in humans can be directly attributed to AI impact. We're not just getting lazy, we're getting systematically lazy. Oh my god, it literally gives me brain rot. Just check Twitter and then look at how many people will go under a post and at Grok just to get a simple explanation of the most basic memes or the most basic news. We are losing our critical thinking abilities, I swear to god, man. In one study, researchers gave recruiters AI assistance to evaluate job candidates. The recruiters with high quality AI became lazy, careless, and worse at their jobs. They spent less time on each resume, blindly followed AI recommendations, and missed brilliant candidates. The researchers literally called it falling asleep at the wheel. Meanwhile, recruiters with crappy AI stayed sharp and improved over time because they actually had to think. And beyond just recruiters, studies show that when AI quality is really good, humans basically check out mentally. We let the AI take over instead of using it as a tool, which hurts our learning, skill development, and productivity. It's like having a really smart friend do all of your homework. You might get good grades, but you literally learn nothing. I had a professor who referred to AI as a prosthetic, which means that it's up to you to decide how much of your body you're willing to replace with this AI technology, meaning that there is some form of sacrifice, even though it can still be used as a tool. 
I'm genuinely concerned that people in the future won't be able to critically think. Students are already living in a reality where they use ChatGPT to write essays, photo map to solve problems, and AI to generate images for projects. And then on top of that, there's also workarounds for detectors. So there's even more layers upon layers of people trying to get around the system. We're not just losing academic skills. We're losing the ability to think independently. Critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity have all declined by 10 to 15% in the general population over the last 30 years years. Essentially, we're outsourcing our humanity to machines and then acting surprised when we become less human and they become more human. All right, so we've established that we're weak and mentally dependent on technology, but did you know we're also physically smaller than our ancestors? Okay, well, upper Paleolithic hunter-gatherers in Europe were notably tall. Average male statures hovered around 179 centimeters, or about 5 foot 10 inches, though Gravedian groups occasionally reached 183 centimeters, or about 6 feet tall. With the onset of farming, average heights dropped sharply. Men averaged around 165 to 170 centimeters tall, which is about 5'5 five five to 5'7. Five but after that, heights gradually rebounded through the Bronze and Iron Ages, and modern Europeans have now returned to the 180 centimeter range, often matching or surpassing ancient levels. As for brain volume, one study based on fossil skulls noted a slight dip 3,000 to 5,000 years ago, potentially linked to energy-saving adaptations in complex societies. But a comprehensive reanalysis including nearly a thousand skulls found no measurable decrease in brain size over the past 30,000 to 300,000 years. The weight of evidence suggests human brain volume has been stable through the Holocene, but man do we got more brain rot. Bone density tells a different story. The switch from foraging to farming led to a 20 to 75% drop in trabecular or spongy bone density, especially in load bearing joints. Hunter gatherers show far denser bone structures. This reflects reduced physical stress and a more sedentary lifestyle not disease or inherent fragility. Finally, our jaws and teeth have changed too. As diets soften, our jaws gradually shrunk, leaving less room for wisdom teeth and increasing rates of tooth crowding. That's not human degeneration. It's just evolution adjusting to easier chewing and processed foods. So there you have it, the definitive proof that humans are speedrunning devolution. We're weaker than ancient farmers, addicted to glowing rectangles, dependent on AI to think for us, physically getting weaker bones, and more. And yes, evolution and devolution do not take place in the individual, but over time in the sense of a population. But keep in mind that certain things like the attention span, etc., can affect you in this life. If this video made you question your entire existence as a modern human, smash that like button with that atrophied finger strength. And please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Good luck navigating through the brain rot, and until next time. Hooray!